we all grew up together, and we don't supposed to be killing one another, you know? And I just feel bad. Me and the mother always talked. We went up each other's house. We gave each other things if somebody needed something, toilet tissue, whatever. But I don't know what happened. If the community was all together, this tragic would have never occurred. He stayed in the house, played PlayStation every day. Yeah. That's what he was about. His From family. morning to night, he would play the game. They'd be in there playing the game. He was living yeah. out here in the streets like that. If That's he came it. out, it was for a football, basketball. It was definitely because of that. And they played basketball a lot. I feel like everybody's watching me right about me. I feel like everybody's watching me. And I'm sorry. And I'm sorry for what happened. I really, truly am sorry. But the community don't understand it. It's out to get, and I don't want no more animosity. I want it to go away so I can lay down the rest. Yes, sir. <sighs> I mean, when you got two people that live in the same building and one is going to jail, hopefully for life, and then my son is getting buried, I mean, there's going to be tension if it's that close, yeah. There's a lot of negativity going on right now in the story of houses, so it's just like, uh, if something was to happen, a fight break out, or someone said something disrespectful, a retaliation would definitely have to be met. Like, that's how, that's how it's been going. In the long run, I still feel for my son's life, you know? Because some people just don't know how to lay down and let things go away. Let the birds fly, let the angels take over you and be good. I feel for, for everybody else's life too, because if it keeps going on and on and on, it's not, it's not gonna be good.